Let's have a look at how we convert complex numbers from exponential form into Cartesian form. And by Cartesian form, we mean the form z equals x plus jy, where x on an argand diagram is the real part of a number represented by the horizontal coordinate of its point, and y is the imaginary part, represented by the vertical coordinate of the point on the argand diagram, representing the number. While in terms of exponential polar form, r is the distance of the number from the origin, and theta is the angle made anti-clockwise with the positive x-axis, if we're writing that as a positive angle. So let's have a look at a couple of examples of converting from exponential to Cartesian form. First of all, let's look at how we could convert z equals e to the j pi into Cartesian form. And so once again, this is just of the form r e to the j theta here, where you can see in this case it's just 1 e to the j pi, so therefore r is equal to 1 and theta is equal to pi in this case. Then once we've identified r and theta, the next thing we can do is write this in the form r cis theta, which in this case will be 1 cis pi, or just cis pi. And the final thing is we then expand this, remembering that cis theta is cos theta, in this case cos pi, plus j sine theta, or j sine pi in this case. And in this case cos pi is just negative 1, sine pi is 0, so therefore for this example z is negative 1 plus j times 0, which tells us in fact that e to the j pi is just equal to negative 1. For a second example, now let's write z equals 2e to the pi j on 6 in Cartesian form. So once again, this has the form r e to the j theta, where here then r in this case is equal to 2, and theta in this example is pi on 6. So once again, we rewrite this in the form r cis theta, which in this case is 2 cis pi on 6. Once again, expanding that in terms of cos theta plus j sine theta, this will be 2 multiplied by cos pi on 6 plus j sine pi on 6. And that's going to become cos pi on 6 is just the square root of 3 on 2, and sine pi on 6 is just a half. So it will become 2 multiplied by the square root of 3 on 2 plus j times a half which is then going to therefore simplify down. The 2's are actually going to cancel there to give us that z here is just equal to the square root of 3 plus j. So that is a Cartesian form of 2e to the pi on 6 times j. So let's have a look at just one more example that's presented a bit differently initially, converting z equals e to the 3 minus 2j into Cartesian form. And so the first step again is we want to rewrite this so it's in the form z equals r e to the j theta. And the way we can do it here is actually e to the 3 minus 2j using just indices laws. That's the same as e to the power of 3 multiplied by e to the power of negative 2j. And when you look at that, e cubed is actually just a real number. So this has actually now been rewritten in the form r e to the j theta where here r is just the e cubed, and the theta is equal to negative 2. And in exponential form, theta is always expressed in radians. So here r is e cubed, theta is negative 2 radians. Now we can proceed, as in the other examples, by writing z equals r cis theta, which here is going to be e cubed cis negative 2. And from there, it's just a straightforward case, once again, of doing what we did before, expanding that as e cubed cos negative 2 in this case, plus j sine negative 2. And when we work that out, that'll just be e cubed cos negative 2, plus e cubed j sine negative 2, which in fact evaluates, correct to two decimal places, to just be negative 8.36 minus 18.26j. So these are several of examples of converting from exponential form into Cartesian form.